Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a table for behind your couch. Okay, so I have this long board that's about eight inches deep, really seven and three quarters, but um, this is going to be for the top of the table and I drew the back of my outlet here. You can see the external section and then the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take a drill bit to make a hole and then I'm going to use my jigsaw to just cut the inner piece out so I can pop this in. Okay, so as you can see, this fits in here and it fits right on top so I could screw it in here and here. But I'm going to take it out for now because I need to make the legs, attach it, sand everything down, and then, you know, make it, finish it. Okay, so I'm making some very basic legs for this and I have the measurements. I'll put them up on the blog. But I've got my two legs or my vertical legs and I've got two pieces that'll go horizontal on top like this first piece that I already did and then I have one little piece that goes in the middle so I'm just going to pop some glue on top here and then screw them in I have some trim head uh, screws here um, so they won't show very much although it won't matter because a lot of this is going to be hidden either underneath or um, on top but yeah I'm going to do this I'm going to screw the top in and then I'll screw the bottom in okay so I have the bottom one is the new one I'm working on here <laughs> I'm just marking where the placement is so they're equal or equal ish so they won't be obvious if they're different and then I'll screw this in and then I will do the bottom after that okay so I situated this just a little bit off from the edge I'll do an equal spacing on the other side I added glue and then I'm going to screw down into this with two different screws um, to hold it in place Okay, here it is attached, and then I'm going to attach the one on the other side using the same spicing from the opposite edge. Okay, so I added a brace here, and I added a brace there, um, and then I'm going to take this piece of trim and put it along the front here. I'll show you when it's finished, but I just want to cut it to the right length. It's got to be equal, so it'll cover this and this. Okay, so I ended up putting another piece of trim on that side and one on either end just to make it look a little nicer and cover up the plywood edge, give it a little bit of extra stability too. I was thinking about putting another piece along here. Okay, so now that it's sanded, I'm just gonna blow away all the dust. I got some of this already, but yeah, go and just blow it away. I'm doing like a grayish on the edges, and then I'm going to do blue on the bottom. As you can see, once the top and the edges dried, I taped them so they wouldn't get any paint on them, and I painted the legs blue. Okay, just to finish up this project, I'm going to screw in the um, outlet, but I'm also putting a couple screw hooks underneath in opposite directions to hold the cord so it can go directly to the outlet without falling down around here. So I just got to put a couple screws in here. I got to go find where I put the pieces for it. Those are all my screw hooks. I love these things. So this worked out really well. Um, having the couch against it does provide a little extra stability. Like if this was on its own, it would fall right over. Like I found that out because with the wind, it was blowing it over. Um, it was fine, it would stand up straight in the garage, but the minute the wind came, it would blow it over, which is fine, it's a thin, it's a thin table. It's supposed to go beyond the couch, not be something that stands on its own, necessarily. Um, it can stand on its own, again, but the minute the wind came over, it blew it over if it didn't have anything else stabilizing it on the other side. But this should allow us to reach the outlet here without having to put our hands under. I can put Christmas Village on top um, or charge whatever on here, put our remotes up here, that sort of thing. And hopefully my kids won't try to walk on it. Okay, so here are the final photos of it. We're moving it in. We had to go through the front door because it's kind of long and it's hard to go around a lot of corners with it because it's so long. But I'm really happy with how this came out. It looks great behind the couch. Um, and it's super convenient to have the outlet there. So I'm gonna put the information up on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. Make sure to subscribe and visit the blog post for more information. Take